A huge special thank you to today's sponsor, Purple Productions, who are currently seeking out dashcam footage for use in Channel 5's hit documentary series, Motorway Cops Catching Britain's Speeders. Make sure to tune into the show to see some iconic clips from me and a bunch of other dashcammers. What's up drivers? Welcome to 6 Minute Saturdays, I'm your host Dash Camhole. First clip today from Tim shows some very confusing police behaviour. As soon as this guy sees the police car, his face fills with dread. He turns around in the junction and enters the pavement as the police patiently wait to turn onto the road and then just... do nothing. Soon after. The dude on the bike then pulls this 200 IQ move. Why are you continuing to ride like a maniac? You've already lost the James May Captain Slow Police half a mile back that way. This clip from my dad features another rather sus rider. The police shoot past with blues on, and 15 seconds later, this chap breezes through a red light and then looks back to make sure that the NHS blood buggy isn't coming back for him. <laughs> That signature look over his shoulder at the blue flashing lights, the fact he breezed through a red, I'm saying he was being looked for. For some reason, there's a lot of drivers that seem to just sit and stare at the red light in the give way lane at the top of Chantland's Avenue. <laughs> Someone stopped for the red light there. There it is, I knew it wouldn't take long. Wow. She actually thanked me as well. <laughs> like the cars behind weren't enough telling her to move. Oh my days. You guessed it. <laughs> good catch though, good catch. It's time for a donkey award. Donkey! Today we've got a little bit of road rage to show you. What the hell are you? I'm bickering! There's absolutely no indication as to what started this altercation, although it does seem that the aggressor is a pedestrian. He does this extremely tough backward swan move. It's where you raise your shoulders up push your whole physique forward and then proceed to backpedal like that. Diddy Man ends up tripping and turns what was probably going to be a fairly one-sided fight to begin with into just an absolute beatdown. A Ford driver clearly doesn't have time for this bullshit and possibly wins a dent for getting too close to the action. <coughs> As G-Man is trying to leave the scene, the star characters of today's show just wanted one last shot at glory. Anyway, it is time for The Road Rules. Yes, it does. Nice to see you. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is where we'll take a look at the best and worst of the miscellaneous driving clips that I've stumbled upon during my internet browsing. You guys know that I love a good trolley clip. <laughs> look at it go. But this... This is genuinely frightening. If trolleys are starting to rise up, just imagine what's going to be next. Nice, bro! Oh yeah, my bad, bro. I, th I think that was me. It, it, might, it might have rolled back into me. As a cyclist, you really need to always be on the lookout for hazards. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> now that really is just shocking. He didn't stop for the stop sign. Surprise, motherfucker. Bruh. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Disgusting. I was sent this clip and asked for my opinion on it. 
and it's one of the most hotly contested debates on the UK's roads. Yet it really shouldn't be. First and foremost, as drivers we should be using the entirety of both lanes to decrease the length of the tailback and then take turns merging at the choke point. Picture this, every driver is using the right hand lane because the left lane ends soon. 50% of these drivers are trying to turn right here anyway, yet are stuck back here. If every driver intending to go straight on kept using the left lane, more progress gets made further back. And usually, you make a lot more progress, even if you refuse entry to the lane by more than one driver. If you're a queuer, that's fine, but don't prevent anyone else from merging in. Be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. This van driver, however, is pulling a classic move that many refer to as being self-appointed road police. He's become triggered by your progress and has decided to stifle it. The clip doesn't have any audio, but I can imagine there was some frustration. And while yes, he shouldn't have done what he did, I hope you didn't let yourself get too mad because realistically, he didn't really prevent much, if any, progress. Cheers for sending in the clip. Once you've passed your test, you should be fairly competent at driving any car. Although this one might be a little hard. Sorry, children. Anyway, that's all we have time for today. If you like this video, give it a like, give me a sub, click that notification bell, and we'll have another chinwag really soon. Peace.